Good morning everyone, Chris here for the 100 day challenge, the video series where I take on two personal challenges, one being my comic for the 100's anthology and future comic Monkey Junk, and also dealing with my health issues and trying to become a healthier person. The second of which is currently on hiatus as things just aren't going to plan and I'm not really in a space where I can really focus on that right now. But I do plan on tackling that again very soon at the beginning of next week. Today it's Saturday the 14th of January. Uh, I survived Friday the 13th which is fantastic. Uh, I know for some people they think that uh, that's a bit of a, a scary day. Uh, it, you know, has a bit of superstition to it and rada rada. Uh, I was kind of expecting it to be a lot worse, but it turned out to be a pretty good day, a very productive day, um, and a happy day. I got to talk to some friends and things like that. So for now, I'm just on my way to work. Uh, I'm there for six hours and then home at four o'clock. Uh, we do have plans to go out this evening. Uh, there's a waterfront festival happening in uh, our town which only comes around once a year and they get out all the rides and everything like that and show bags and all the food trucks which is probably my favourite part, all the delicious foods uh, that you can try and sample so we're really hoping to go there but I don't know if you can tell by the weather out here but it's really really bad like it's gone from a weird 28 to 30 degree week and now all of a sudden it's 19 degrees and cloudy and windy and cold and I don't know I can't figure it out but nonetheless this hasn't stopped me from doing my 30 minutes a day uh, I have finished my 30 minutes for uh, the comic book which I ended up finished penciling page 4 and I started page 5 so I think I've penciled two panels for that so uh, I got my 30 minutes in there um, I just wanted to do the minimum today because because I have to go to work I had some other work I wanted to do as you guys saw yesterday I was working on the invitations so I really wanted to get a real jump on those so I've inked the woodlands design and I've started coloring it I'll put some images here for you guys to check out so that's about as far as I got um, this one's probably a little bit more complicated than some of the other designs, which is probably why I wanted to tackle it first, just to get it out of the way. But uh, it also is one of my more favourite designs out of the lot too. Um, I'm really hoping that the colours really bring this together. I'm trying to think of what colour schemes will work, but with the way Etsy works, I might be able to do three or four designs uh, that people can choose from. Uh, so the same design, just with uh, a change in the hues of the design so one might be a nice pinky purple design then I might do one that's a bit more um, natural with greens and things and maybe one that's like red and orange for an autumn design uh, that's sort of what I've got going in my head so I can just do one base colour and then just mix that up and that's what I'm probably going to do with the whole series of them so people can have a choice of colours for the uh, invitation they want so they can choose the design but say they have uh, a daughter who really likes monsters they can get uh, the monster design but they can get maybe a nice purple because she still likes purple or pink uh, rather than green or blue or red so I want to have those options there and really doesn't make much difference to me as far as time goes uh, I can do those things very quickly so that's sort of where I'm at with that uh, I really really want to get that launched next week um, I've also been having a few ideas on some other things um, like personalised prints with some um, imagery as well um, but one thing at a time, just going to do the invitations but I would like to thank everyone who's commented or messaged me about the invitations uh, and given me um, some really nice compliments I really really appreciate that because appreciate that, um, it really makes me feel like I'm doing something um, worthwhile and makes me feel like um, it is going to be su as successful that I feel like it will be um, so to have feedback like that is really really great uh, and I think because they're original designs too maybe people seem to resonate with them more than me just drawing fan art like I did with the kitty prints as well um, so this might be an avenue I'm going to be walking down for uh, a bit longer than I probably expect but I'm enjoying doing the designs and as I was saying to a couple of friends this morning um, I've been doing my research on Etsy and there really doesn't seem to be very many illustrative invitation designs on there um, which is a shame most of them are very font based or they've downloaded very simple clip art off of um, 
generally off Etsy or just downloaded them online, put them together, um, you know, with their fancy fonts and done it that way. So none of them seem to be hand-drawn, illustrated um, designs, or at least not like for what I have planned or what I'm doing and I have shown you guys. So hopefully I'll be um, hitting a market that really doesn't seem to be touched on that on the page. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, I suppose the biggest thing once everything goes up is trying to deal with the marketing. So uh, I think I might have to try and put 10 or 20 bucks aside for the first month to pay for a bit of advertising on Etsy just to get people to see the uh, invitations because um, I'm really going to need to get sales and likes and favorites uh, in the beginning to really boost that page. So that's going to be really integral, I think to the success of that page. Uh, as most of you guys know who are probably watching this who are artists, you can't just post something on the internet and then expect it to go to go wild. You've really got to put in the hard work marketing wise through Instagram, through Facebook, uh, through advertising avenues uh, on the websites if you have that option um, to really get it off the ground and get it running. So uh, that's definitely going to be the plan for this. So. I'll update you further on that as well, but otherwise everything else is sort of on track. Um, I'm nearly at work now, so I'm going to have to cut this short, although this is probably longer than I expected it to be, but um, I'm meant to be going out this afternoon uh, to the show, so I'll try and get some footage of that, because that should be a fun night. Uh, just depends if the weather holds up. Otherwise, tomorrow's going to be a wicked episode. I'm heading into the city to catch up with some friends. Uh, my art friends, we try and catch up once a month to do like a daily, uh, or daily, uh, a regular sketch or drawing session. So hopefully that goes ahead um, and I will make sure I film a lot of that content for you guys because I think that's going to be a lot of fun for you to see. Uh, and I'm going to try and convince my friends to uh, say hello to the camera uh, so you can meet a few of them. Ha, 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 ha.